Hello friends, my name is Luna Knight, and welcome to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened Remastered. I wanted to play a Sherlock Holmes game, and I found out while figuring out which game I wanted to play, because I own pretty much all of them. I learned that there is a new Sherlock Holmes coming out this December, which I plan on playing. I wanted to play them in order from like the earliest ones to the newest ones. So I was going to start with the two first ones made by Frogware, which I think this one is also made by Frogware, but the first one was Mystery of the Mummy. That didn't go so well. Just let me click something. The second one was the case or the uh, something of the silver earring. That went even worse. Let me play the game. <sighs> so we're gonna play this one, and so far it's working better than the other two combined. So, not that that really is saying much. And we'll see how it goes. Go away, you swine! Leave, or I'll make you bleed! These all came from the swamps. Could be totem contraband. Holmes! Help me! Do not fight the calling! <laughs> Blood! I beg of you, Holmes! For day! Relive your blood! Oh, no. No, it, it can't be. It can't end like this. Uh, again, this nightmare haunts me. It won't let me forget. I don't have any idea what's going on because I couldn't play the first two uh, games, so... How did this all begin? Unless, you know, the first two games have nothing to do with this, in which case, oh well. I hope I'm recording my audio. I Good morning, Holmes. Looks like a typical London day. Fog in the morning, fog in the afternoon. Okay, so that was Watson. Ah, and here's a surprise. Fog in the evening. Good morning, Watson. Can you imagine? I have been at it since 5 a.m. and I scarcely think my list of patients <laughs> for the day has even been touched. What is more insufferable, I haven't even had a moment with the morning paper. They say the minister will assuredly... Holmes! Whatever is the matter, you haven't heard a word I have said. It is the tedium, my dear Watson. Life is ordinary, the papers are lifeless. Any hint of audacity, and dare I say, romance has vanished from the criminal world. Holmes, it is only temporary. You know perfectly well that sooner or later an exceptional incident will occur in London or thereabout, which cannot rest till the talents of Sherlock Holmes are called into play. Then it will be up to your agile wit to set things right, which should satisfy your constant need for mental gymnastics. I hope the heavens hear your words, Watson. I hope they do indeed. Well, I must take my leave, Holmes. I have an appointment with a rather odious man, Captain Stenick. He is apparently in a state, with near tachycardia due to some problem involving his manservant. Why don't you get out for a brisk walk, Holmes? Perhaps buy a newspaper, or visit that fellow, Barnes, over on Glentworth Street. You might remember him, the bookseller. He has some new volumes of the particular sort that should occupy your mind for a time. I'm playing, right? Oh. Oh, it's a point and click. Okay. Uh. Matches. Wait, hold on. Go back. Okay, so far this is going well. Anything else I can do here? 
Besides take the matches? No. Alright, let's go this way. is up with the hand and the way he about face hello do you recently acquire assistance on something that you don't care about because I didn't bedroom. Let's play Where's Sherlock. Okay. Cool. Back out we go. No, don't go back. Mm. Sherlock. Alright. No? Okay. Oh, good gracious. Strained, strained, by the strained. By the so, strained. my young friend, what is the news? Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. Those old stuffed shirts ate up half of London at their big scientific to do, and some Candace Navia princess is driving the locals wild with curiosity. A Scandinavian royal is in London? If you and the lads can look sharp and find out more about her visit, there will be some coin for your pockets. Right oh, Mr. Holmes. If there's aught to be found, the Irregulars will have it. I'll send the words out to the lads. <laughs> it just left his It is necessary file. to keep my informants in fighting form. And then there's a strange disappearance. How many pages is this? Yeah, no, I'm not going to read all of this. I'm sorry. Um, how do I leave? Uh. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. I have no reason to go there. Go here instead. I have no reason to go there. You just hate horses. I have no reason to go there. 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 One more time. I have no reason to go there. Okay, we can leave now. Uh, I can walk faster by double clicking. Pigeon. Pigeon. No. Okay. Where am I going? Um, is this Baker Street? Excuse me. Oh lord, where the hell am I going? Oh, I can't walk this like this. I just have to
Okay, so I'm on I a have no reason to go there. I go there anyways. I have no reason to oh go there. Oh my god. There. Where do I go then? Here? No. <sighs> I have no reason to go there. Do I have reason to go here? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I have no reason to go there. Why are you over here? I'm over here because I'm lost. Are you also lost? Will you help me figure out where I'm going? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Keep walking. There is a doggo. Or a cat. I think it's a dog. Hello. My respect, Miss Fleming. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I talk to you. No? I can stare at you. Take it, I have no reason to go there, so we're gonna go here. Okay, Glintworth. Ah, here we go. To the bookseller. Holla frickin' Luya. I have made progress. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. How are you? I have some new novels that should interest you. A nice illustrated volume on fish, and a collection of legends on piracy. They must be here somewhere. Yeah, you want me to look for them? I thought this was your bookshop. Can I not take this newspaper? No. All right. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> You're not even in frame. Appears to be a trace of shoe leather. Did somebody fall here? Where are these books that you're talking about? Oh, there's one. There we go. Ah, the pirate's book. Uh, Sharks Macrinty. Hey, sure. Cool. Now, what about the fishing book? Is this it? Ah. Uh, a book about sea fauna. <sighs> I don't have enough coffee for this. I will take them. Thank you, and goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Now what? Do I just go back home? I have no reason to go. <sighs> A distinguished young man running in the streets. Older man? I don't know how old he is. What's this? Oh, it's the pigeons. Holmes! Here! Hey, Watson. What's up? Ah, it's good that I found you, Holmes. As I told you this morning, I visited Captain Stenick. Although his symptoms are not serious, the circumstances which caused his palpitations are quite peculiar. Perhaps you can make something of it. Here is Captain Stenick and Sergeant Ruffles. Sergeant Ruffles? I'm not sure if Ruffles or Ruffles is more hilarious. I'm gonna call this guy Ruffles. Hello. Uh, you first. Hey, Ruffles. Now then, Sergeant, what is it about, and what elements of the crime do you have documented? 
Referring to the official report, the following particulars were taken down. A young Maori responding to the name Bayalpa was reported missing by his employer, Mr Stenick. No one in the surrounding area saw or heard anything relevant to this incident. In truth, we rarely concern ourselves with cases such as this, but the lad speaks not a single word of English, and according to his employer, has considerable strength. Considering the wild customs of his native land, who knows what damage he could cause? You must know, Mr. Holmes, there have been a few similar cases reported recently. The facts are much the same. Immigrants from the poor districts have been reported missing by their families. We expect that some low-class brothel has opened its doors to the local exotics, and Mr. Holmes, you can imagine how word would spread. Mark my words, with his unique looks and speech, we'll find this boy in no time. I imagine he'll have nothing worse to show than empty pockets and a delighted air. That is a possibility, to be sure. However, I would be most grateful if you could ask your superiors to send me the reports about those similar cases. I rely on you, Ruffles. <laughs> you call them Ruffles, too, <laughs> instead of Ruffles. <laughs> That's great. Uh... Captain, I understand from Watson you are quite upset. Any man will be the same, and with less provocation. My servant has left in the middle of the night. Damned ungrateful after all I have done for him. To top it off, he knows not one word of English. Finally, if he causes any damage, I will bear the brunt of people's anger and suffer the consequences, as I am the person who brought him to England. How long was he in your employment, and is he accustomed to vanishing in this manner? We returned from Australia more than five months ago now. But to his credit, he never left this house before now. He is afraid of the city, as are many inhabitants from open spaces. Could he have stolen something? Upon my word, no. How much money does he have on his person? Frankly speaking, he didn't have any money. I kept his wages for him, and they are in my safe. In any event, what the deuce would he have a need for money? Who knew that he worked at your home, and had he any contacts here in London? Anyone who deals with me professionally knows Baopa is my personal servant. As for his contacts, they are limited to the delivery men who bring food or other items to my home. What reason could he have to see anyone other than myself? Watson, continue your search here. I must follow another lead. Where are we going? Suit yourself, Mr. Holmes, but it seems to me you're just wasting valuable time. Trust the instincts of a seasoned policeman. In my professional view of the case, this lad went on a spree and will pop up wiser if poorer in pocket. Oh. Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? What do you make of this, Holmes? Okay. Can I check out your house? The lock was not cracked. What a peculiar drawing. In the shack where young Maori, Ma Maori, Jesus, I'm so sorry, Balpo was living, there is a drawing on the soil in Maori style. It depicts what appears to be the silhouette of a human running from a huge wave filled with vague forms that resemble flying fish. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. This appears to contain some measure of opium. I shall analyze it at Baker Street. Okay. Footsteps. Footsteps. Let's see. 
The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard soled. In Mr. Stinwick's garden, I noticed footsteps leading away from the wall and toward the shack door. They were a size seven. The size in connection with the depth of the impression near the wall suggests heavier, large man. Okay. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also. over here. Footsteps. Let's see. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes... Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is some... Yes, there is some. Okay, how do I look at it? You have reason to go here now. Yeah? I have no reason to go there. <sighs> oh, the footsteps are here. It's a ladder. This should prove useful. This should prove useful. I'm so sorry. I'll I'll quit. Oh, these old games. Yes, there is something here. In Mr. Stintwick's garden on the top of the wall, I found some plant fibers. Fibers? Why are they here? Hmm, it will be necessary for me to examine this more closely at Baker Street. Totally couldn't have just fallen off a tree from somewhere. Footsteps. Let's see. Hmm, how strange. I shall have to examine this more thoroughly under the microscope. Is that really what you wanted me to get with a damn fish skill? Can I go back now? Flaxen. Yellow in color. Oh my god, progress. Now can we go back? The right shoe is missing a nail. Really? That's what I'm missing? Okay. At least I know what I'm in for. Okay. Uh, right. In Mr. Stanwick's garden, I noticed footsteps leaning away from the wall towards the shack door. They were a size 7. The size in connection with the depth of the impressions near the wall suggest a heavier large man. Mr. Stanwin's garden on top of the wall, I found some plant fibers. In Mr. Stanwin's garden, I absorbed traces of footsteps leading from the wall around the house to the entry of a nearby shack. There was an additional evidence of a heavy object consistent with being a man landing on the ground from the wall. Infer inference is that the man is of a certain weight. The footsteps were consistent with a size 7 fully soled shoe. An L is missing in the sole of the right shoe. I am in for quite the doozy of a time. Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Come, Watson. We must return to Baker Street. What do you make of this, Mr. Holmes? Mr. Stenick, I wish my news were your servant simply left your employment voluntarily for the service of a more honest man. Unfortunately, I don't have that pleasure. In truth, the news is grim indeed. Your servant was seen in the company of two men yesterday. Was it? What? One of the two is a man of moderate size, very robust, and a mature age. His profession, which will be the key element in our investigation of this affair, will be determined by me within few hours. The other is a young Hindi, who is tall and only recently arrived in England. There is a darker side to these what? events. Your man was not with them by choice. Rather, the evidence shows he was kidnapped. At this moment, the reasons behind this villainous act are unknown. But, rest assured, the truth will not elude me for long. Gentlemen, I wish you a good day. Come, Watson, we must hurry. There's a great deal to do and little enough time to spare. Where did you get this Holmes, information? I must protest. You did not spare my client, Captain Stenick. This seems unusually harsh. 
That may be, Watson, but now what matters more is to know the reasons behind the kidnapping of this young Aboriginal yesterday evening in central London, and more importantly, what has become of him. Ow. I must concentrate on a small experiment. I will run to test my theories. Please go to the poor Lovelorn Barnes and ask him if he has something on the Maori nation and its traditions. Also, if you should happen to see the newsboy outside, find out what he knows, and if it has value, give him a coin. And for God's sake, don't be a miser, Watson. A miser? You cost me one of my patients, and you question my level of generosity with your informers? Oh, really, Holmes, sometimes you go too far. Oh, okay, cool. Um, is this a science lab? I shall have to examine this more thoroughly under the microscope. The meatball ignited but failed to burn completely. There are, without a doubt, mustard seeds present, probably in exotic form. What could be the other components, I wonder? Nothing. Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Now it can't be used for anything. Nothing. Now it can't be used for anything. Perhaps if I apply heat? How do I do that? Now it can't be used. Ah. I note a strong presence of opium blended with a concentrate of morphine. The remaining elements are a mystery to me. Uh, analysis indicates it contains opium blended with a strong distillate of morphine. I was unable to identify the remaining components in this mixture. Hmm, very interesting. Piece of cloth found at Stenwick's on the door lintel of the young Maori's room. It is definitely woven flax. This cloth was dyed, yet not in England. Without the slightest doubt, this material originated in India. Taken into account the height of the lintel, the only explanation is that a large man with a turban made from made from this cloth crossed the threshold. However, there is no trace of such a man in the garden. Where should be it? He knew how to land in such a way as to leave no trace when he jumped that his shoes have a smooth, flat sole like Indian slippers. With the other evidence included, this man is undoubtedly Indian and arrived in England only recently. Okay. These rope fibers are clearly hemp. Now, about the origin of these stains. Nothing. 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 Let's see if I can obtain a reaction. Now it can't be used for anything.
This is evidently coal soot mixed with water, and given the absence of any salt particulates, it must be fresh water. Fibers found in the wall in Stenwick's garden identified as hemp likely from rope. They were stained with traces of a black substance, undoubtedly coal soot mixed with water. The water is fresh as I found no presence of saline. Okay. Now the fish skull. According to this monograph, the fish scale appears to be from a perch, a saltwater fish with high commercial and culinary value. Fish scale find in the footstep traces of Stenwick's garden. The skull is identical to that of a perch, a saltwater fish of high commercial value. Okay. I should look from the window and see where Watson is. Okay. There's a good lad. How does it go? Hello, sir. My associate, Sherlock Holmes, said you might have information for him about... about... Uh, now, what was it? The Princess Gav. He was looking for the scuttlebutt on this here princess what be visiting. Exciting goings on. Her bodyguard went missing the first morning after she got here. Nice job to look after a princess's body, isn't it, sir? I do. They say he went out on a town having a go with the ladies, if you get my meaning. Like as not, he was trapped by some gang of toughs. Otherwise, who'd get the best of him? A proper giant he was, by all accounts. Do I get me coins then, sir? Oh, thank you, sir. Obliged, I'm sure. <sighs> Good morning. Has your sprain improved? Good morning, Dr. Watson. It is slowly showing improvement. What can I do for you? Would you happen to have a book on the Maoris? If I have one available, it would be on that bottom shelf. Although, I'm not sure if I still have that particular book. Please don't trouble yourself. I will look for it. Is this it? People at Earth's Inn. Okay. Found Good it. Good day. Goodbye, Doctor. Ooh, now I gotta run all the way back. We're here! Sherlock, I've got your shit. He takes off his hat when he goes inside, that's funny. Hey. Holmes, what on earth did you say to Barnes to put him in such a state? Not now, Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant. It must wait. We are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of employment for one of the villains who abducted the young Maori. What part of London would such a man call home? What part of London does the two kidnappers... I don't... No. The docks. Yes, Watson. There is little room for doubt. Our man is a bargeman who works at the Thames River wharfs. He is more precisely employed to transport and handle fish brought in by various ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. Okay. Let's go. Now do I need to go there? Good day, Mr. Robes. Hey. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Okay. Why did we come here, Holmes? <laughs> It's rather sinister here, and so cold. Hmm. Precisely, Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. In we 
you go. Cursed mermaid. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? Only that he is a robust man, about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now, look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Okay. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. Mm. Oh, devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hands. <laughs> and to add to me worries, imagine last summer I had worms. Worms? Yes, worms is what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night. Again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Have a nice day. What the fuck kind of game am I playing? Oh my god. Okay, so I know I need to go there. Um, do I need anything in the bar? Okay, he did say this way, right? Or was it that way? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, so very lost. Oh, so very, very lost. Not this way. Okay. Maybe he said this way. Ah, anchor. I know where we're going, huh? Uh, what, Watson? Can you please flip the camera? Thank you. Oh, too far. Go back. Oh, wait. Rope. This old rope seems intact. No trace of soot present. Okay. No one is here. No one is here. What do you make of this, Holmes? There's a little Maori boy inside. Why did you just walk in? Excuse me for disturbing you, but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. 
Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. Watson, I know this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Of course you Nepalese? are. Nepalese? Holmes, are you sure? <laughs> Aho Nitra. Chigong se Nitra. Ah, Nito. Bo Petro. Toro Mito. Toka. This woman says her family has suffered a grave misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week no ago. No way she said all that. Could he have run away to sea, or some other youthful adventure? Il koga bratsain, but presindra kum. Bo petro toro mito ka waekta dorikoto a nito tro petro. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malin he gas. Sundra brokhead hardo. Oda liga ha. Toro mito. Ka. Petro. Do ka. Ha. Nito. Waek to riko ta. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? Dude is kidnapping immigrants. Like, I think I thought that was pretty obvious. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. Okay. Okay, sure. Yep, well, let's go. Dude with the silver eye. Let's go this way. Can you hurry up? Oh. <laughs> it's a ghoul. Oh. Or a zombie. Oh. A corporeal ghost? Uh. Ew. Oh. Seasick. You good? Hello. Uh. Watson, it appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. Pretty sure he's just Here drunk now, my sick. young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. Yep. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh, oh, it's not my fault. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. And then on top of it, they stole my parcel. What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I better drink it all. Well... Let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy, and then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? It's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. What but bottle? where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. 
Okay, sure. Turnips. any people at. Oh. Can I not knock on this door? Okay. That's part of the warehouse. See Alcohol here. So, what about it? I am missing something. Okay. So, I assume this is your special recipe. That depends on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. A fair price indeed. Unfortunately, this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste. Let's see what's the but I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. <laughs> Watson always looks so confused. Oh. Uh Hey, I can give this to the guy at the bar. Oh my god, we made it. Hey. Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. Thank you, sir. I could kiss you. Here now, you can't just leave this laying about like that. Lord love you. The scrapers are what it is. Well, come now. Let's celebrate with a, a drink. Okay. I uh, have to finish up a phone call, so I am going to end this episode here. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing anyways. I don't know why the hell I have a hook hand. None of it. So for now, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Net signing out. Bye.